friends welcome to my youtube channel tkf electronics so today i have received a parcel from uh see this is the address from uttar pradesh ghaziabad uh there is he is a youtube uh, customer anirudh mr anirudh kashyap uh he sent for repair from there to here to here my place mumbai uh let's open the box and see uh, he sent some uh, sony iv 300 system for repair Let's open the box and check what is the issue in this. So guys, open this box. See guys. What a packing. We made a good packing and sent this one. See, very good packing. Great packing, very good packing. See, nice packing. Now with the remote also the same. See this is the remote. Power cord. Oh, this is the system. See, this is same. IV 300 so it's in for repairing so let's check out what the issue what a good packing he made very nice packing this is Sony ok guys same model IV 300 It is written over here. See. So let's put it on power and check. So let's put it on power. We'll check what is the issue. So guys, I put it on. See display come. Hello come. Now this will go, we will put it on, so slightly broken here, see, I think this is during transportation, it's on, now what we will do, we will connect it to the bluetooth, volume is up and down, So we'll connect Bluetooth. So I have connected with my mobile. So we'll on now. So guys, I have already connected. So it's working. Now I will check the sound. See there is no sound. No sound output. See guys, there is no sound output coming from this unit, from this uh, Sony IV300. So that's why there is a problem. This just we will dismantle it out. One, two, three, four. One, two. Total six screws. We'll put it off first. So now we'll remove it out. Okay, guys. So guys, I have to remove it out the screws. So yes, this is the problem. This is the set, and we the problem in this is no audio output. This is the one. So we'll check now step by step. Keep watching my video. So guys, now what we'll do? We'll just clean out with the brush, with the air blower. We'll clean everything. See, too much dust is there. So I will just clean this with the high pressure air. So whatever the dust is that will come out. So friends, as you have know, this is, there is no sound in this system. Customer, there was uh, no sound output from the this system. 
so guys i have already dismantled the high voltage power to the power amp and you know why uh, on pin number 22 and 24 it is um, a plus b supply i mean 3.3 .3 volt supply to this uh, amp board so when i am checking this one i am getting some you know abnormal ohms it should not be like that actually see this is 24 and this is 23 so 22 uh, sorry 22 and 24 is plus b supply 3.3 volt dc supply to showing some shorting you see so i'll just remove the strip we'll check see guys this is how maybe someone try to you know try to remove it on and put it back see guys how they fix somebody try to remove it out and put it back see the strip they damage it and it is shorted so that's why the backs this also same see because of this one see so because of this one uh, IC may get shorted that is showing zero ohms so anyway we have removed it out now we'll check now ohms in that So guys now we have already disconnected this strip from AMP board to main digital board. So now we will check is there any shorting. See still shorting is persist. So it should not supposed to be show this much ohms. It should show some kilo ohms. So it means there is a shorting is there in the AMP board. So this supply is going to the this stream IC. So we need to check the components around stream IC and if all components small small SMD components are good then finally stream IC should be culprit. Anyway we will take it out this board first. So guys we will take it out. So I already removed the screws. Let's see. This one. So now we will check separately. These are two main output ICs are there. So now we will check some components around here. Just keep watching the video okay. so keep this aside so guys pin number we'll check with the ic pin number nine is supply pin ic this one see guys i think uh, we need to check all the pins or better to remove the IC thing. See, it's showing shorting. Anyway, we'll check step by step now. Wait. So, friends, in this IC, it was showing shorting before. I sub, uh, I just disconnected some uh, supply pin of this IC, pin number nine fourteen. So now it is uh, not showing that much ohms. This is pin number nine. Before this is pin number nine. It's showing some six to five ohm, five to six ohm. But now it is increased to three ninety. So after in after going uh, after uh, i mean to say uh, inserting the pin number 9 plus b only it is showing shorting so now we will replace this confirm that the ic is shorted so we will try to replace this ic with the new one so guys i got the new ic with me so we will replace this ic with the new one so i got new ic with me so just keep watching my video i will replace this ic this is the number of this IC is TAS5538. TAS5538 is a stream IC. So now we'll replace this with the new one. So guys, we'll replace now IC. We'll replace this with the new one now. So now we'll clean this area, my friend. We'll clean this area now before fixing new IC. So before fixing new IC, we'll clean this area. Friends, I have already cleaned this one. 
it should be like this so now we will fix new IC in this so we will fix new IC Task TAS5538 Task 5538 right so it should be like this so now we will solder this one perfectly we'll so this will take time to solder this one this is not easy because the pins are very very small so we need to adjust this one first completely we just keep watching we just solder this one so guys as we have seen i have already fixed this stream stream ic see the soldering so now i have already cleaned the board also so now we'll fix it back and we'll check what is the status okay guys just keep watching my video i will fix it then so guys i have already fixed its m board as you know we have replaced the stream ic in this so now we'll put it on i'll put it on now put it on so it's hello come and we need to wait till this go i will give the synthesis off now we'll put it on it's on so we'll connect to the bluetooth and check the signal we'll check the audio output also just keep watch my video i have connected my bluetooth it's working so it's moving so now we'll check the video uh, sorry we'll check the audio output I don't have the speaker, the customer didn't uh, give me the original speaker, so we'll check with the wire only. This is uh, front right. This is front left. This is uh, woofer, subwoofer. This is center. This is surround right. This is around left. So guys, so like this, we already sorted the problem. We changed the stream IC. So it's working. So see volume up and down is going. And if you go for function, function also working. See audio, USB, everything is working. So guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe it and please don't forget to press bell button so that whenever I upload new video, you will receive its notification. Uh, if you like my video, friends, like it, share it, and if you have any comments, please leave it in the comment box. Take care. See you. Uh, see you soon in next video. Thank you.